Shalom everyone and welcome back! Thank you for joining me today, we're taking a look at the Victorinox Climber, the Swiss Army knife that fits most people and would be perfect for some of you. And by some of you, I mean people who don't carry a separate knife. Like if you don't carry a separate blade, like this Benchmade Bugout for example, or any other type of blade, you might want to consider getting a Victorinox that has two blades on it. One uh, main blade and one secondary blade, which is what the Victorinox Climber offers. And today we're going to take a look at this specific Swiss Army knife and I'm going to tell you why I think it is a good fit for most people, especially if you're not carrying a separate blade. I do have a, a lot of other Victorinoxes like some of you has, uh, have seen on my previous videos. And by the way, thank you all for watching the previous video, my, la my latest video, uh, where I go over my entire EDC gear and equipment and everything I own. And you guys really help me sort out my gear and decide what's going to stay in my rotation, in my, you know, uh, regular everyday rotation and what I'm putting away. So if you haven't had a chance to catch that video, please go ahead and click the link in the description once this video is over. But without further ado, let's just jump into the Victorinox Climber. And I promised you guys in the previous video that in this video, I'm going to show you how I use the package opener on the Gerber Dime. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's see if it's this one. Yep, that's the one. So this little tool on the Gerber Dime, which is a fantastic uh, plier based multi-tool, as you can see right there. I hope you can see right there. And I'm going to show you right here as well. Um, so this Gerber Dime offers a package opener, which you can see right here. And today I'm going to show you how I use it to open a package. And this is one of those clamshell uh, packages. I got the Victronox Climber in metallic, gray, transparent, translucent, whatever. Uh, but you can get those in a number of colors. Take this Explorer, for example, with the conventional, you know, regular red cellador scales from Victronox. So you can get the Climber in one of those red scales as well. I just opted for the uh, silver metallic version. So anyways, you take the Gerber Dime, you take the package opener. I like to use it face down, which means the bezel, the edge is on the reverse side. So you, you, you see it has a uh, chisel grind right there. Uh, so I take this and I just stick it in there, pull through, go all the way. Just like so, it's very, very easy. It, you know, just falls into place. Doesn't take much force, doesn't take much accuracy. Just stick it in there and pull. See, just like that. See how easy that was? And I know you're not supposed to pull a knife towards your body, but you know, it's a package opener. It, it has like half of an inch of blade. Let's see if I got everything. Still got a little bit right there. A little bit right there. And off we go. So this is how you open a package with the Gerber Dime. Easy enough, right? We're just gonna put this aside right there. And let's take a look at the Victorinox Climber. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. So it has the key ring right there. It has many, many functions. We're gonna cover everything. Today we're gonna start from the outside moving in. It is a three layer knife. This is the back side. You got the corkscrew right there. So let's start with the outside tools. First of all, you get the toothpick, which is always a nice addition on all the Tarnoxes. Come on, focus. Let's try and focus here. There you go. So you got the toothpick and this little guy lives right there. You got the tweezers, which are phenomenal. These work extremely well, way, way better than you might think if you've never used one before. These are great. There you go. And these go right here. Now let's start with the main tools. First of all, we start with the conventional opening layers. So you have these guys, you have the can opener with the tiny flathead screwdriver on top right here. 
doesn't have a half stop uh, the same way that the uh, flathead screwdriver with the with the bottle cap lifter does. So it doesn't have that half stop. Me personally, I have never used this tool to open a can, you know? I've never seen a can that doesn't have a pull tab in about 20 years. So I never use this to open up cans. I What I do use it for is as a very light duty pry bar. You can see it has that edge over there. Maybe I can show you here. You can see it better. Uh, so, you, so you have that edge right here uh, that I use as a, a, a very light duty pry bar. And obviously I use this uh, as a very tiny flathead screwdriver, but it also works for Phillips screws. So I, I did use that a couple of times um, as a Phillips screwdriver. Anyways, moving on to the next layer, you got the famous bottle cap lifter with the flathead screwdriver on top, which is also a very nice pry bar. Um, and the wire stripping notch right there, which I've never used. Uh, but it does work perfectly as a bottle cap lifter and a flathead screwdriver and a light duty pry bar. You know, if you gotta get in under something or just, I don't know, scrape something, uh, this could be used for that and it would do it perfectly. Moving on to the next layer, which is why I chose the climber to show you guys today, are the scissors. Famous Victorinox scissors. These are great. I wouldn't recommend getting a Swiss Army knife that doesn't have the Victorinox scissors and specifically the Victorinox style scissors, not the Wenger style scissors, which I've shown in a previous video with the Wenger Evolution 14. These are the Victorinox scissors and they're great. Got a little oil right there, straight out of the package. I'm gonna clean that out later. Anyways, the scissors are wonderful. Get a Victorinox knife that comes with a pair of scissors. These are phenomenal. Moving on to the next tool is the main blade. This is the main blade of the Victorinox climber. You got the stamp right there. See if we can catch the light. So you got Victorinox, Swiss made stainless, and on the back, you just got Officer Swiss right there. So this is the main blade for the Victorinox climber. Um, it's a 91 millimeter frame, which means if we open up the compact right there, you get the same blade you get with the compact. Um, unlike, let's say the Sportsman, which is an 84 millimeter frame, you get a, a, a slightly shorter blade right there. So let's move these out of the way continue talking about the climber. What you get with the climber that you don't get with the Sportsman or the Compact is a secondary blade right there. So this is a pen blade, a very short, nice, small pen blade, which is a secondary blade. You got the um, oil marks right there. Um, what I was saying is you got a short pen blade right there. Now, why do I think this climber, oh, let's go over the tools on the back. So you got the corkscrew on the back. You do have a small hole for a pin right there for, for a straight pin, which I'll bring that, the, the compact back for a minute. We can see if we open up the corkscrew, you have a small uh, pin, a straight pin right there. Let's try and focus on that. So you can use the straight pin for all sorts of things and it lives right there in my compact. You can obviously also get the mini screwdriver that lives in the corkscrew, which I plan on doing. I actually plan on doing that in the next video. Let me just show you. Uh, there it is. I bought a mini tool set from Victorinox. It comes with a SIM removal tool. It comes with a uh, Torx. I believe that's a T4 or a T6. I'm not sure. It comes with a very tiny, small uh, Phillips head and a very tiny flat head. So one of these is gonna go into my brand new climber and I'm gonna carry that for a week and tell you guys what I think. But let's keep talking about the climber. So you got the corkscrew right here, which I do prefer because as I stated, you can use 
the where you go right there you can use the can opener to undo Phillips screws or you know tighten up Phillips screws so I don't need the um, Phillips screw on the back I prefer the corkscrew moving to the next item on the back is the all-purpose hook is the parcel hook from Victorinox uh, you can use this to do any number of things you can open up drawers that doesn't have the knob you can you know carry parcels or whatever you can use this to lift up hot pots from the fire if you're camping hiking whatever although I do have if you can see right there these are all Victorinoxes that I plan on doing a video for camping and hiking so stay tuned this is going to be the next video however we're moving on to the last tool on the back which is the where'd you go come on where's the nail nick there it is which is the reamer slash awl. So this is a very sharp reamer, like all Victorinoxes, that comes with a reamer on the back. It has the sewing eye. It is very sharp. You can use this to open up packages and such. Now, going back to why I think this climber is perfect for people who are either new to knives or just uh, looking for a multi-tool to carry and you don't want to carry a separate blade. You know, some people carry a blade, uh, I have the CGRB Rhea right here, which is amazing in my opinion. I really do like this knife, but I don't carry a separate knife. These are just knives I have on my table that I do enjoy and like, but I don't carry a separate blade. This is where the climber comes in, or any other Victorinox that has two blades, because you have the main blade right here, and you have the small tiny pen blade right here. And the reason why I say I think this is a good knife for people who don't carry a separate blade is because you now have two blades in your pocket. And what I suggest and what I plan on doing with this knife is using the main blade for food prep and using the small blade for everything else. If I need to open up a package, if I need to cut a string off of a t-shirt, if I need to remove a tag from a, from a pair of shoes I bought, whatever. I'm going to use the small blade but everything food related everything that needs to stay sanitized and clean i'm going to use the large main blade on this knife which eliminates the need to carry a separate blade however i'm not gonna gunk up the small blade with any uh, tape residue because for that i'm going to use the all on the back so this like i said is a very sharp edge right here i'm going to try and show you that up close right here so it has a very very sharp edge which which comes to a very acute point right here on top so this is what i'm going to use to open up packages open up um anything that has any tape on it because i don't want to leave any tape residue on my tiny secondary pen blade that lives right here i don't want to gunk up this part of the knife because it comes in contact with the main blade which as i stated i'm going to use for food prep and everything so i don't want to gunk up any part of it um, so i'm going to use the large main blade for food prep i'm going to use the tiny blade for everything else and anything that is messy or you know going to leave residue i'm going to use the back all so in my opinion this is a very very recommended knife for people who are trying to get into edc or trying to carry a multi-tool and not sure which one to get go ahead and purchase a climber it's not very expensive it's on the it's on the more affordable side of the swiss army knife world um and let me know down in the comment section below if you agree with everything I said in this video, if you have any other thoughts about the climber, or if you have any other recommendations for people who might be watching right now and looking for their first Victorinox Swiss Army knife. If you do have any recommendations, please put them in the comment section down below. And I want to thank you all for your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video, which is going to be my... Swiss Army Knives over there. We're going to talk about camping and hiking and everything. And, and we're going to go over the Victorinox Walker, the Victorinox Huntsman, and the Victorinox, I think it's the Hiker or the Camper, the Camper. Uh, the Camper has a corkscrew on the back and the wood saw 
on front. So we're going to talk about all of these in the next video. I also have a bunch of other flashlights to show you guys and we're going to do all that uh, in future videos. Thank you all for being here. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Give this video a like if you liked this specific video and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.